Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy, and today we're going to ask the question, what happens if you have a volcano under a spaceship and do you turn off gravity? <laughs> this is a really specific question which probably wouldn't apply to most people. I, I do understand that. But, at the same time, I think that the answer may surprise you. <laughs> Does anyone have a, a guess as to what will happen? This is going to be fantastic. This is going to be great. This is going to be the greatest thing. We will do the plasma sub eventually. Eventually. I think that it's going to be brilliant. Oh my god! Okay, three seconds have passed, and it's already brilliant. <laughs> okay, so we can see with the gravity off, there is nothing preventing the volcano from just becoming a freaking bomb, which is now launching... I mean, this material is mostly pressurized. It's not really hot, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just that, like, room temperature water. But now we're getting steam and lava, and wow... It's like a mine just went off. I have a video about my Holy moly! It took about two seconds! Two seconds for this to turn absolutely insane! Look at the amount of lava! Ooh! Uh, it is getting baked! Like it's a cookie! Look at it go! Now there's actually very little damage. I mean... Yeah, even the temperature inside of the ship is pretty- the outside of the ship is very hot, but the inside? It's fine. I- that looked really bad, but uh... It's- it's not actually that bad. Huh. Pesky said the ship will melt. It didn't. I thought the ship would melt too, but it looks like it's actually holding up. But how long can the ship hold up against this? Like, how long can a literal volcano just blasting into the ship do no damage? I mean, I guess it could potentially survive for- There aren't parts of the ship that are catching on fire on the inside now from the heat just bleeding in. Uh, that, that's the real damage. It's the internal- the internal damage from just the repeated heating. Now, it's really the bottom of the ship that's getting hit hard. Uh, huh. Well, you know, I, I expected it to be a little bit more... I don't know... Dramatic? The ship is just holding out really well. Uh, I did not think it would last this long. It really is kind of just ignoring the fact that a volcano is shooting at it. Oh! Oh, we lost a gun! Okay, the heat may have been a little bit too much for the gun then. We've lost one of the main guns. Sir, why the heckles did we park our battleship above an active volcano? Yeah, yeah, I want to see what happens. That's why. That's why. Okay? Stop judging me for my parking options, alright? You know, sometimes you get somewhere and all the parking spaces are taken, so you just take the bad space anyways. Uh, Okay, so parts of the hole are starting to melt off, and that is causing the heat to get in, and now the uh, the crew chambers are starting to burn. Um, oh, and we lost another gun! Oh, and we lost the reactor! Oh, that's, that's, that's game over. That is game of- I'm still impressed by how long the ship lasts- oh, and the engines just went too. There is still part of the ship that is alive. If you lived on the front of the ship, you're uh, well it's hot, okay? It's hot. But at the same time, it's not destroyed, it's just very dead. Alright, so I have other questions, of course. Other questions. Uh, we're gonna do a few a few versions of this, right? Do a few ver- Okay, uh, give me- Give me a moment, game. Jeez. Uh, I need the- Oh, you know what? Why don't I just- I think I have a save of something that I could use for this. Do I have the city one? The city on top of the- uh... 
City on a volcano, fantastic. Yes, we'll have it we'll have it park above a city on top of a volcano. Crossover. Crossover episode. So we'll just have the ship just kind of dock here. Very nice. They're just trying to I guess they're docking with that building. They're, they're just parking in front of it. They're a little bit closer to the ground now. But this time we're going to see what happens if we have gravity on. So, so you parked your ship, right? There is gravity. Because you're on a planet. We're on like a big planet this time. We're not on like a tiny little, tiny little planet. And uh, we're going to see what happens. when the volcano awakens. So it's just normal. It's just a normal volcano this time, right? Just an absolutely normal volcano. And, uh... It's erupting. Unfortunately, the person who had the, the key to undock uh, lost it. So everyone's kind of like, huh. Sir, there is a volcano going on below us. The city is being destroyed. So they're, they're trying to turn the key in the ignition, but they forgot to fuel up the ship. So sad. Their only option is to warp, and you can't warp at such a low altitude. So it looks like our friends are stuck until someone manages to get some gas. It's like North Carolina. The gas is just gone. Dude. Okay, so there's a few things I can see that could occur. First off, it'll just grow a mountain into the ship, and then it'll just kind of calm down because the heat won't really pass through that easily. Number two, it just digs a hole through the ship once it gets to that height. Um, it looks like the building has actually left the ship. Uh, it's undocked on its own. Pretty based. Place your bets below. <laughs> I mean, we already did testing, and we know that things can damage the ship. I think the Zero-G Volcano was actually pretty neat. Um, big fan of that. Big fan of the Zero-G Volcano. Sometimes the dumb ideas are the good ideas. Rip to the people who lived in this city. Yeah, the city is a loss. I will admit it. The city is a loss. Um, They're still just, they're just floating there. They're like, yeah, this is not good. The magma chamber is getting very close to the ship. Uh, the heat is very, very, very concentrated in that one section. And it's going to close itself off. And then it's just going to be like, the ship is going to just be a cap. A cap on top of the volcano. The question is, will it be able to hold? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? It looks like it's actually melting kind of through the edge here, too. Hmm. Very interesting. If I just put the ship a little bit lower. Just a little bit lower. Fire guns at the volcano. We could try to fire the guns at the volcano, that's true. Yes. We're going to attack the volcano. <laughs> We are attacking the volcano now. I'm sure this will end brilliantly. It would appear we're doing far more damage to the city than to the volcano. Uh, it's also causing the heat to get a lot worse. And the particles are getting closer to the ship. I, I, the city is only a minor casualty. Wow, jeez! People live in that city! You're just telling me I should just destroy the city because it's just minor? Yeah, this is a few a thousand million people. Who, who cares? That's brutal, man. That's brutal. Those people had names. Families. Um, yeah, it would appear that not much really was accomplished by firing the guns at the city. Right? Not much was accomplished at all. On the bright side, it would appear that it's just... I don't think the volcano was strong enough to hit the ship. I think it, uh... It's close. It is close. But I don't think it'll be able to... A little bit of material hitting the ship now. But it's not, like, enough that I'd be concerned about it. It's more of a, like, uh... uh we're being hit. Oh, no. 
You know what I mean? I don't think this could really do damage to the ship in any way. It would really need to be... It would really need to be... Maybe... Maybe if there's like a big burst of pressure, like let's say, you know how volcanoes work, they don't just go at like one speed and just like blah blah blah, occasionally they blow up really big as pockets of pressure are released. Well, let's see, if we put a big pocket of pressure down here for a second, just like a big blast. Um... Okay, so making it more angry... Certainly did some damage to the ship to the weapons on the bottom, but it's still it's it's not enough to really Break the ship. The ship is actually just very well designed <laughs> um, Credit where credit is due I'm not sure that oh, okay. That was that was actually a little bit violent huh, Unlike the zero gravity one there's just too much time where there's nothing touching the ship like, it needs some long, prolonged contact. But if the ship were parked, say, let's say it's not on top of the city, it's it's just like parked in front of the city, right? right? We're viewing it, it's like the city's behind it. Say it were parked a little bit lower, I think we'd have very different results. <laughs> very different results indeed. Because where the uh, the heat starts, it is hot. Thousands of degrees. Now it is impacting, and it's actually the heat is not making it in. Not immediately, because there is insulation in the way, and uh, we can actually see if we look at the heat display. The ship is completely fine. Even on the heat gradient display, we can see it's not moving through. Not moving through. Not moving through. The front of the ship is taking some heat in, and it's going around. That's going to be our problem. The front of the ship is not insulated. The bottom is. The front is not. And it's kind of like... Yeah. That's an issue. <clears throat> that is going to be the weak point of the ship, the front, which for some reason just isn't shielded. Ooh! And that... That's that. That not being shielded meant a very quick death to the ship. And only a few neutrons could make this a lot worse. It would only take, like, one neutron... Luckily, it looks like there weren't any, but had some come through, it could have been a whole lot worse. As shown. <laughs> With a secondary blast that just absolutely annihilated the entire city. And uh, all that's left is rubble, pretty much. And I mean, now it's just going to melt from the volcano under it. Very sad. I think the last thing to ask would be, you know, we'll try zero-g with the city. The city is made of concrete and stuff, so it shouldn't fall apart quite as easily. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off gravity, and I will even put a layer of ceramic under here, just to give it a little bit of time. A little bit of time. There we go. Well, let's see what happens if we visit our space city, which doesn't have gravity. It would be it would be a kind of uh, kind of weird place to put a city where there's no gravity, but you know things happen. Scientists and engineers make mistakes occasionally. I mean, you'd probably notice the city glowing. Um, that's usually a sign that something is wrong. When the buildings start melting and flying into the ship, you should probably go, hmm. Hmm. Oh no, the spaceship is super slowly heating up. If only spaceships were able to move sideways. We had an excuse for that. They, they forgot to refuel. How sad. How absolutely stunningly sad that they forgot to refuel at the worst possible moment. Impressively, not much is going wrong yet. I mean... The city is kind of just holding it. 
parts of the city are just melting. But that's alright. The ship is absolutely fine. Nothing is wrong. Continue living your lives, guys. There's no need- There's no need to move the ship. It's fine. Nothing could ever breach. It's like the Titanic. It can't sink. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. But little do they know, this concrete is getting kind of toasty. Kind of toasty. I don't know if it'll ever actually break, though. So I may I may have to get involved here. All right, I will I will get involved. Where's where's my persistent display? There we go. I will get involved. How do you melt it? Well, this is gonna seem counterintuitive, but we're just gonna put insulation on the other side, which will uh, which will just hold the heat in and it'll cause it to melt. It's gonna be brilliant. Watch this. No, it just burned off immediately. All right, we'll give it a little bit of help. We'll give it a little bit of help by just mildly heating it. Oh no, there's a breach! Oh, this is awful. It looks like the well-made concrete bottom of the city has been breached, allowing this magma and horrible volcano to, to erupt straight out of it. Straight out of it. Wow. Maybe we should have moved the ship. It probably would have been a good idea to move the ship. I'm really regretting not moving the ship now. This is so unfortunate. There is a lot of hot material breaching the deck, sir. What should we do? We should probably move the ship. Nah, there's no need to move the ship. We have shielding. It's just a little bit of plasma bath. Everyone takes a plasma bath occasionally. No, sir, I think we should really move the ship. It's a, uh, it's a good idea to move- No! Ridiculous, that'll cost money. We're gonna leave the ship right where it is. We have free parking over here. Worst comes to worst, we call the insurance company. They, they, they come on over, you know, they pay for a new windshield. Hey, Spike, look at the back of the ship. The back of the ship looks fine to me. I mean... There's no reason to be concerned, okay? Sure, the planet we're currently hovering over is having some freak tectonic activity that is firing molten material directly at the ship. But there is no need to move the ship. The ship is fine where it is. We have free parking. There's a concert going on. We're keeping it parked right there. Also, there's a Starbucks nearby. It's a great spot to park, all right? And I mean, the ship's fine. As you can clearly see, nothing is wrong with the ship. So there's no reason to freak out and move the ship. It's been through worse. It's been through far worse. I use Ace Attorney music, which, uh, which is generally pretty based. Until I have to restart it, which I do right now. Hmm. Alright, so I, I want to say that the ship actually just kind of survived this. There was no need. There was no need to move the ship. As I said, everything was going to be okay. Volcanoes can't her spaceships case closed and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say that our, our engineers were correct people had no reason to be afraid the ship was completely safe the entire time and I'd like a written apology from everyone who said that the ship wouldn't be okay because you're all a bunch of fear mongers I'm kind of curious though what would happen if we turned on ambient heat Because there is an atmosphere, right? Well, I mean, there's no gravity, so I guess I'm kind of mixing and matching here, but... See, even with ambient heat enabled, there is no reason to be afraid. The ship can handle high temperatures, especially on the belly. That is defended 
against uh, ship attacks, which means it's definitely able to handle a little bit of weird weather. Okay, some of the rooms inside did catch on fire by the reactor, but it's okay. The, the, the engineering core, okay, the reactor did overheat and has went critical. But if you really think about it, is that really a major problem? Okay, the weapon systems are turning themselves on now. Um, they, they are just firing on their own accord. And we did just have a proton meltdown. And there is a lot of deuterium leaking. Um, but at the same time, is it really something that we have to worry about? No. Everything's fine. Ships cannot be damaged by volcanoes. Thank you. Whoa, hey, it's me, the voice in your head. First off, I'd like to say some of the things in here are kind of concerning, but yeah. You should totally like, subscribe, and uh, comment. Maybe support me on Patreon. Otherwise, all these other things in your head, I may have to tell people about them. The FBI might be interested possibly. Jeez, you guys are weird.